Good evening, welcome back to my tool shed for another 10 minute review. Tonight we're looking at the Dialog DL6790 Combi Volt 2. Two probe voltage tester with continuity and phase rotation. This one has been supplied by David Sweetman of Dialog for me to donate on to my local college. So let's have a look in the box. Much as we would expect, we find a two probe tester, a set of batteries and a set of instructions, which of course we probably won't need. A uh, quick run through the specifications. So a 24 to 690 volt DC and AC range. Uh, we're looking at a audible signal for continuity and for voltage. We're looking at somewhere around a price of 55 to 75 pounds, depending on where you Google. <clears throat> we can use this for up to 30 seconds every 10 minutes before it starts overheating. If you only use a single probe, you can measure a voltage between 100 volts and 690. Continuity test up to 400 kilo ohms. Two probe phase rotation. I've obviously only got single phase here, but L1, L2, and we'll give you a direction on the little LEDs on the screen. Much the same as we see on a quite a lot of testers. Probes GS38, although if I get my QTEC QCheck. R2 tester. They are too chubby to get through the gaps. We'll have another look at that in a minute. Uh, on the back, all the normal standards that we expect to see. This one is a voltage measurement measurement category. Four 600 volts, three 690. Has a 24 month warranty. So before if we go any further, let me stick the batteries back in with my Martindale PT, PD440. Well, one probe, no, we don't get much with that. What do we get if we do two probes? This will put up to well, over 400 volts AC. We have a full set of neon indicators my LEDs up to 400 volts and a voltage of 479 showing on the LCD screen. So even without batteries in that little hole there, we are certain it's going to work. If we do the mains, unfortunately, we have to remove these, which then causes a problem with GS38 because we have about 12, 15 mil of exposed tip. But as we're working on IP2X here, and I hope I'm reasonably competent, we go in there, I lift that up, you can see we've got exposed tips showing there, which isn't particularly nice. 230 volts on the LEDs and 236 on the LCD screen. So that works very nicely without any batteries in it, which is... Uh, quite important part of being safe so if we stick those back in there we drop our two treble a batteries back in their normal hole and this little battery cover has got a little lanyard on it to stop it from scurrying away and hiding underneath the bricklayer's pile of rubbish that he's left for you to tidy up stick that back in there if we can with my health and safety butter knife <clears throat> so what we'd like to see we would like to see polarity continuity which we have although I don't get any sort of reading in the LCD screen we do get a noise squeaking out of it. We also have our LED battery, LED lamp, C 
single phase, single pole voltage indication, which is quite useful. Double pole, we expect all of the others, and we've got an audible sound as well. That's quite high pitched. 479, we've got all the LEDs lit up to 400 volts. If we do the same again, pulling the tips off as we have to. Slightly lower pitch because we're at 236. We're only got LEDs illuminated to 230. Uh, when you're doing your tests uh, for indication prior to proving dead, you need to ensure that you're testing at least as high as the voltage that you are uh, proving dead on. Um, I would like to suggest that I would like to see all of these illuminated but then you've got to get a proving unit that's got to put out 700 volts which we're going to struggle with unless we get one of the bigger bigger Martindale ones so there we have test kit probe tip covers stop you from stabbing your fingers on your uh, on your test kit as you get it out of your veto tool sack um, a very nice little tester there leads pretty much standard you can't detach the tips on these um, so you're stuck with that you can't detach the flex it's all injection moulded and sealed so once your flex has gone your cord's gone between the two probes you're throwing that away but that is a fairly standard function certainly on the uh, the mega TPT 320 uh, you'll find exactly the same setup um, and potentially for a similar sort of amount of money um, for for the same kit uh, I like this one because this has got an LED screen that lights up I will do the Mega again in a minute. I'm fairly certain I didn't get a reading on that one. But there you go. Uh, lots of people rave about the Combi, Combi Volt 2s. And uh, it's a perfectly nice bit, bit of test kit if, you, uh, if you're into uh, dialogue testers. There we go. Thank you very much, Dave. I shall be passing these on to my local college as soon as I can. Thank you very much and good night.